Hey cuties and welcome back to my channel for another video. If you want to join the cuties fam, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the little bell icon to get notified when I make new videos. All my socials will be linked down below, including my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Discord, Patreon. I have a cameo now and a PO box. If you guys would like to also send me stuff or if you would like to get like a little video from me or something. This was actually a topic I kind of wanted to talk about beforehand, but I didn't really feel like it was my place to talk on, uh, but we'll get into that. So basically what's been happening recently is Cardi B got in some beef with a very young TikToker and basically dragged her and got her canceled for the second time this year. I have some opinions on it and I tweeted about it and people were like, just make a video on it because you clearly have like a lot of opinions that you want to share. So I thought I'd make a video on it. If you completely don't know what's going on, that's totally fine because I was so confused when I first heard it. And I bet most of you probably don't know who this TikToker is. Her name is Emma Lou. It's like spelt kind of funny. She started making like TikToks this year and blew up like crazy big. And I remember first seeing her TikToks and I really liked her. I thought she was super body positive. She was a feminist. She fought for her political beliefs. She was like trolling Trump supporters. She was talking about Black Lives Matter. She was, she was just doing it all on the platform. She was really big into activism, really big into body positivity, really big into feminism and supporting women's rights. All of that jazz, all of the stuff that I'm obsessed with, right? She was right down my alley of being like someone I really supported. So I followed her on TikTok, really liked her videos. Then all of a sudden I started seeing this like Emma Lou is over party, like Emma Lou's canceled. And I was like, oh my God, what happened? Cause I really, really liked her. I really, really liked her videos. I was, you know, a little bit of a fan. And then suddenly I see all this like cancel stuff happening and I'm like, holy crap, like what did she, what is she getting canceled for? What did she do? Like, I just couldn't believe it, right? I, you know, searched into it a little bit and I realized that a video had come out of her when she was, I think 14 or 15 or something like that, of her saying the N word. And there was a few videos. I guess she had had an old like uh, fake Instagram account where she would post spam. And she had these videos that she had posted that someone screen recorded or something like that. And it was basically of her saying the N word. And when I first heard that, I was like, it's not my place to cancel someone over saying the N word. It's not my place to forgive someone over saying the N word. I did have a lot of opinions over the scenario because I thought things went too far. Um, but again, really not my place as someone who is white, you know, <laughs> that should totally be up to the black community and their with their feelings and their emotions. I thought Emma handled the situation fairly well because she was really, really passionate about activism for Black Lives Matter and stuff. And she really wanted to give the voices to, you know, black people and to express how they're feeling, whether that was them being hateful towards her or saying whatever they wanted. She was like, you guys have such a right to be mad at me. What I did was disgusting and deplorable and vulgar. Like not saying that this is okay, but it wasn't just someone singing a rap song and, and lip singing the N word or saying it in a song, which is still bad, still wrong, but it's, it's less malicious. You know what I mean? It's not like you're being malicious with the word, right? It's still wrong to use it. I just think that word just needs to like, be gone from the white mouth. I mean, be gone in general, but it's totally a black person's right to say that word if they wish to say it. But the way she said it was referring to like black people walking by and she said it with a hard R. The videos were really vulgar and when I watched them, I was like, oh my God. And I had so many mixed feelings about it because I don't ever like to look back and go, oh, well, they were only 14, you know, they were only 15 years old. That's not an excuse, but it does allow for context, right? And she explained thoroughly that she grew up in a very ignorant family that, you know, she suffered a lot of stuff, you know, with parents who weren't exactly supportive of her or there for her. You know, she grew up in kind of like, for a better lack of a term, white trash. And she said that that was just a word that was commonly used and she knew better, but like didn't know any better. And that's totally not an excuse, but it is an explanation. She said the second that she started educating herself, she distanced herself from her family and their beliefs and started growing towards activism and, and acceptance and all of that stuff. And I think at a certain point we have to allow people room to grow because if we don't, then we're just telling them to stay in that place of ignorance, you know what I mean? If someone grows up in a family like that, you you are who your parents are at that point. At a young age like that, 
your beliefs are very much intertwined with your parents' beliefs, your friends' beliefs, the beliefs of all the people around you, right? So many people apologize in the complete wrong way when it comes to these situations. I think she handled it really well. She was willing to give up her platform completely. She was willing to hear black voices and what they had to say. She was willing to educate and learn further. I do think her apology actually contained accountability, a step-by-step -step plan on how she was going to move forward and educate herself further and, you know, prove to people that that's not who she is and who she really is as a person is someone who wants to help people, someone who wants to be an advocate, someone who wants to be body positive and loving and feminist. And I do think she handled it well. Whether or not that was received is, you know, that's not my choice. That is completely the decision of the black community and what they, you know, believe in each individual black person if they forgive her or not. That's completely up to them. So she got, you know, canceled and slowly but surely, as everyone who gets canceled because cancel culture is so toxic and short-lived. So that was her like first time being canceled. She kind of made a little bit of a comeback. She still has 1.2 million followers on TikTok. She made a video that I'll show in a second. So she kind of like made her rise on TikTok as this huge like number one Barb's fan, which means she's like a huge Nicki Minaj fan. Their, her, their fan base is called the Barbs. And she would always make jokes about how Nicki's better than Cardi and like kind of shitting on Cardi B and stuff like that. You know, I feel like she jokingly made them, but she made a lot of them. And I know that the whole cool, like Cardi versus Nicki thing is like really big. And it's like, they like to pit them against each other and be like, who's the better female rapper and who could go better like hit for hit and like da da da. And it's just like, to me personally, I try my best to not pit women against women and I get it that they're two women in the same industry and they're both doing really well and have been really successful. But to me personally, I find that women pit each other against each other so often that I don't wanna contribute to it. I don't wanna pit Cardi against Nicki. I like them both as artists. Although both Nicki and Cardi have done things that I don't approve of and I don't condone and I don't advocate for, they've also done a lot of things that I do really appreciate and I do really respect from them. And I think that they've shown a lot of how like women can be powerful in the rap industry and women can be powerful in hip hop pitting them against each other and shitting on one to make the other one look better is just like sometimes like just rubs me the wrong way like something about just hating on women just for being in the same industry as another woman like hate on them for like actual reasons hate on cardi because of like what she used to do at strip clubs or like hate on nikki because she keeps doing songs with six nine and like p horrible people you know what i mean don't hate on them for the wrong reasons don't hate on them just because they're women in the rap industry right like your inner misogyny is just coming out with that like hate on them for the right reasons so anyways recently since emma Lou's little comeback she made a video on her tiktok which i'll show right here you know when Cardi B said, my head game is fire, my pussy Dasani? Um, actually, Buckleese, Dasani contains a lot of harsh chemicals that are actually really bad for you, and Dasani is one of the worst water brands, so you might want to go get that checked out by a gynecologist. It seems as if you've admitted that your vagina is just not healthy. I mean, try again next time, babe. So obviously Emma was making a one of those Cardi versus Nikki roasting her song lyric whatever it was a joke made at cardi's expense she probably didn't think cardi was ever gonna see it now i don't necessarily think this is an a horrendously awful diss or super offensive joke to make i thought it was actually a little bit clever um dasani is kind of known as you know a a bad water brand it's kind of salty it's you know they put a lot of extra like preservatives or whatever, I don't know. They put a lot of extra shit in there um, that they don't need to be putting in just like pure natural water. And Cardi has on, I think, I know another verse from another song where she uses the word Dasani. And you know, she's saying my Punani Dasani. Emma made the correlation of saying, you know, Dasani is like kind of bad water. And so you're saying that your vagina, you're comparing your vagina to like bad water. It was kind of a funny comparison. I think if it hadn't been for like a built up of a lot of stuff that had happened with her, it would have kind of like not been as bad. But I think something didn't sit right with me about someone just surviving kind of like a racism scandal or an N-word scandal, and then coming back and making a video putting down a black woman. You know, like something about that just didn't sit right with me. I don't feel like what she said was like, horrendously awful, but I just don't think she should have done that. It was in really bad taste. It was, 
It was kind of just like an inappropriate timing and whenever you make jokes at someone else's expense you have to understand the place that it's coming from and like in that point in time it just like that was not the time to make that joke or the place to make it like honey you you literally just got over being canceled for a racism scandal and then you're gonna come and make fun of a, a black woman's vagina really i just i think it was really not thought out it was super in bad taste and i was just like oh honey like you know when you just kind of like face palm you're like oh you were just kind of coming back and i don't think that this is worse than what happened before you know what i mean but i think it's this kind of like on top of what happened before she's not getting re-canceled for this it's like an extension of the last cancel ship does that make sense it's like you re-brought up in everyone's minds why you were canceled you know and i don't think putting down one woman to make another woman look better is a positive thing you know what i mean like you're all for feminism and women's equality and you know loving black women and here you are putting down a black woman uh to make another black woman look better it just it doesn't really make sense in my view of like activism st and stuff and i totally understand that like it was a joke and like she didn't mean like malice by it but it was still kind of like bad timing, bad taste. She definitely did not think that Cardi B was going to see this video. I mean, hopefully she didn't hope that Cardi B was gonna see this video because she's made a few videos in the past of like kind of joking on Cardi B and like being like, oh, Nicki Minaj is so much better, da 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 da. So Cardi B saw the video and replied to it on Twitter. Cardi said, fish lips, this you? <laughs> Please keep my name out your mouth. You disguise yourself as a person that loved black female artists, but you were real life racist. And she like linked the video of Emma saying the N word, like the really vulgar video of Emma saying the N word when she was younger. I personally thought this was like fair game. I don't know if that was just me. Someone went online to their 1.2 million followers on TikTok and dragged you and dragged your vaginal health and you you know, call them fish lips. I, you know, I'm a petty bitch too. I might have done that. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I would probably hope to have a little bit more maturity and a little bit less pettiness in me. But you know, if someone really dragged me on the internet, my pettiness sneaks in. I'm not always a perfect person. Like, you know, I tell people I try to lead with kindness, uh, being nice and kind and loving and compassionate and empathetic. But I'm a human being too. I'm a human being. I can't be that all the time. That was a Nicki Minaj reference. But I'm a human being and I'd be lying to you. I'd be disingenuous to say that I'm kind all the time and that I'm perfectly like empathetic and caring and, and compassionate every second of every day. I've been petty, I've been a bitch. I've said things that have hurt people before. I'm not perfect and I've never claimed to be perfect. So of course, Emma has, you know, a pretty big following. She has 1.2 followers on TikTok and her video got over 2 million views. But Cardi obviously has a way bigger platform. She's an actual like celebrity, an actual artist. She has a way bigger following and platform. And of course, all of Cardi's stands attacked Emma. And so Emma was going through that process of being re-canceled, especially after just kind of coming back, just probably getting her mental health under control. And if you kept up with Emma, she, you know, got kicked out of her house. I think her, her like her mom kicked her out and she was going through a really rough time. I'm sure it was a hard time for her. And you know, I genuinely hope her mental health is okay and surviving because I, I you know, I know she's had a a hard upbringing and she's had a pretty hard time with her family life and her parents and her mental health so i really hope she's you know staying healthy mentally and physically i hope she's getting help because this can be a lot of stress on herself and cardi said she wants to talk about mental illness after she got exposed for being a racist sloth mental illness and depression is real but i don't buy it from bitches that talk shit and fake bully celebs then start crying mental illness Depression is real, loneliness is real, body dysmorphia is real. I know a lot of kids turn to the stan world to not feel alone and be a part of something, but I don't feel bad for a racist or somebody who disguises themselves as someone to put hate and spit hate. But she went on a live stream, said some stuff that I want to address. So let's watch the live stream. A lot of, that's like a trend on TikTok. A lot of people make videos about the Cardi versus Nicki Minaj beef. Yes, I am a huge Nicki Minaj fan, but I do not dislike Cardi B. I actually kind of like Cardi B. I respected her for her work with politics and Bernie Sanders. I 
I like watched her frigging performances and thought it was amazing and her the quality of her videos were amazing. I loved the way that she shut down her body shamers on Instagram. I don't hate Cardi B. Any videos I made about her, I wasn't saying horrible things about her. The video I made about how Dasani is a really toxic water, Cardi B, obviously your vagina doesn't actually contain Dasani water. Now, I understand that I made a joke at your expense and I will apologize for that. And I thought that I was being funny, but obviously you didn't think it was funny. I know who I really am. People who know me in real life and love me know who I really am. Am I the 14 year old girl who was ignorant and dumb and used to say things, really offensive, hurtful things for shock factor? Am I that person that I was in that video? No, I'm not. Her accusations that I pretend to like black female artists to deflect from the fact that I'm racist, it's just not true and it's not who I am. Any advocacy that I've done any issues that I've been loud and proud about, I care about on here and in my real life. She posted a video of me saying the N-word on a huge platform. Everybody's gonna see that and now that's kind of gonna be used against me forever, but my point is that that does not represent who I am or what I stand for. Another thing I wanna say is she's attacking my appearance. Me now, I'm 18 years old. So she's attacking a teenage girl's appearance over a silly video. It was a joke. You're 26 years old. Like, why are you doing that? It is messed up that she's attacking an 18 year old girl's appearance at her big age. I was 14. I was a child. That's not me saying that it was right because it wasn't. But I've really, really grown and changed and came into awareness about a lot of social and racial justice issues. I know who I am. I know what I really care about. I know that I'm not performative in being anti-racist and I'm not performative in spreading love to black female artists like Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj and even her. If you want to hold me accountable for what I said, do that. But why are you attacking a teenage girl's appearance and just like calling for people to attack me? It was a joke. I'm sorry that I made a video joking at her expense. I'm not racist. The things that I said in those videos were deeply ignorant and I've talked about it in detail. Who I am now is someone who genuinely cares about activism and racial justice what i who i am now is the person who made videos trying to spread body positivity and ra and bring comfort to people who are struggling with mental health issues i'm not a bad person i'm not a perfect person but i'm not a bad person and that's all i have to say it was instagram live that she did that on and i have some comments on what she said there but i think i don't know where cardi commented this but i think it was on instagram i don't know if it was like on that live or if it was somewhere else but basically cardi said you have made like 10 videos of me disrespecting and picking on me if you experience bullying depression if you know who you are why do you do it to others i'm a person too i got feelings too my feelings get hurt too so it's okay to pick on people on the internet for shock value and when i stand up for myself i gotta be mindful that you're 18 you don't gotta pick on people for attention shit is whack and then Emma replied, again, I'm sorry that I made a joke at your expense. Most of the videos I made about you were just saying I love Nicki Minaj better. I didn't personally attack you or your appearance or even your character as a human being. I don't think I ever said anything so terrible that you had to take it that far and share that video of me with your huge platform. So I think they both make points. First, I'd like to say, since when is Cardi B 26 years old? That's younger than both my older sisters. Okay, Cardi B, go off. First of all, super successful at 26. Damn, like I did not, I, I thought she was like, I don't know why I thought she was older than that. Why I thought, I didn't think she was that young, but I wanna start off by saying that I don't think Emma is, you know, this horrible racist person that people are making her out to be. However, I do think what she did was wrong and she needs to realize that people aren't necessarily mad about the joke, it was, the context and the timing of the joke, you know what I mean? You had to go through all of that cancelization and now you're shitting on a black woman. Of course people are offended, you know, especially people who really love and respect Cardi B. And you're getting mad at Cardi for making fun of your appearance, like calling you fish lips or whatever, and inviting her audience by tweeting to attack you and bully you and whatever, whatever. And she's saying that it brought that video to an even bigger audience, which it was already, that video was already going around, girl. That video was very, very seen by a lot of people. So I understand that now it's going to an even bigger audience, but you cannot blame Cardi for that. 
and I'm sorry I know you made those mistakes when you were younger as life is mistakes follow you and you can't erase your past you not only videotaped yourself saying super ignorant shit but you posted it online for everyone to see and you know what at the end of the day there are consequences to actions to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction so by you making those videos you might have had some sort of effect on someone and honestly those videos coming out and having people see them definitely had an effect on people there are consequences to those actions no matter how young you were and you're paying for them right now and it sucks it sucks to have made a mistake a long time ago and to have learned and to have grown and to still be penalized for that action but you know what it happens every day and i think you need to take responsibility for that action once again you can't sit here and blame cardi b for exposing that shittiness to a wider audience do i think that that video represents who you are now absolutely not i think emma's actually a really great person i think she's actually learned and grown a fuck ton since that video was made when she was 14 or 15 or whatever you have to allow people the room to grow which is the point i want to touch on next the fact that emma got on her live and said that cardi b is you know so much older than her and she's picking on an 18 year old she was like i was a kid when i made that video but then she refers to herself as a teen at 18. you were a teen when you made that video you are an adult now 18 year old the age of where you become an adult yes you were still in your teenager time frame but you are also a young adult you are responsible for your actions and for your words and how they affect people i don't think you were a kid when you made that video i think you were an ignorant teenager as many teenagers are and i think you were given the opportunity and the space to grow and evolve and to educate yourself and now as an 18 year old you are more mature you are smarter you're an advocate, you know, but don't sit there and use the age argument then because you were given the time and space to grow and evolve and learn, but you're not offering that same space to grow for Cardi. I just, I don't like the age argument and I'll explain why. I've used it in the past, you know, when talking about Trisha Paytas, I'm like, Trisha, you're like 30 years old. You know, why are you doing this shit? After watching recently D'Angelo Wallace, he's another YouTuber on the platform. He's really amazing. I'm actually like, a pretty big fan of his videos. I think he's a really great person. Uh, D'Angelo Wallace in I think his last video made a comment about the age argument that really really hit me and I was like you know what you're so right. If we say oh you're you're too old to be doing this this and this. Understandable but also why do we not allow people room to grow? If you can make mistakes at 18 you can make mistakes at 26. You can be immature and petty and ignorant. As human beings we need to give other human beings the space to grow and evolve. Now, of course, if someone makes continuous actions that are harmful and yada, 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 then that's something we need to reevaluate in another sense. You are really gonna sit here and shit on Cardi B's vaginal health to your 1.2 million followers and expect her not to lash back. Like, we all know Cardi's petty. It doesn't make it okay. It's definitely immature. Like, both of you were immature with your comments. But the fact that she gave you exactly what you gave to her and now you're saying that, Oh, she's older. She should have been more mature. Well, why not give her the space to grow and evolve? You know, people are always obsessed with like, if you're over 25, you're too old to be in any sort of drama. You're too old to be um, manipulated. You're too old for this. You're too old for that. No. I mean, maybe if you're like in your 80s, you should, you should chill out. But like 30 is young. 26 is young. Even 40 is young. People still make mistakes and we're all just human. I don't think when Cardi tweeted fish slips or whatever, she wanted people to go and send you hate about your appearance or whatever, whatever. I think she made a reactionary petty comment. It, you know, maybe your joke really did hurt her feelings and she lashed back. So I think saying, oh, at your big age of 26, first of all, 26 is pretty fucking young. Like I turned 23 in two weeks and i would consider myself really young i still make mistakes i still do stupid shit like i still can be petty and toxic and you know whatever i'm not perfect i, I try my best but i'm not i'm far from perfect cardi b's far from perfect you're far from perfect so i think cardi had a point that you know she is a human being she still gets her feelings hurt you know she still takes things to heart and i think your comment offended her and although it was a joke it was a joke at her expense 
And if you can't handle her being mad at you making a joke at her expense, then I feel like that's more of a you problem. You know, her big platform. Yeah, she's got a big platform, but honey, you got a big platform too. You got 1.2 mil. You're not that much younger than her. And you're not that much smaller than her. I mean, uh, yeah, you're a lot smaller of a platform, but you're still a big platform. And I definitely think you have, like people should give you more space and room to grow as well. And they should hopefully see you for who you are now and the strides you've taken to change from who you were when you were 14. I hope people realize that and I really hope that they give you the time and space to show who you actually are. But I think that the excuses and the like, like stuff like that, the age argument and the big platform argument and that she's sending all of her followers to bully you now argument and that this video is all you're gonna be known for. If this video is all you're gonna be known for, I'm sorry, but the only person's fault that that is, is yours. And I know that's a hard pill to swallow, but you made that video. No one held a gun to your head and forced you to make that video and post it online. The fact that someone got a hold of it and exposed your shitty behavior from when you were younger sucks. And that really sucks because that's not who you are anymore. But you need to accept that if this is something that the world knows, it's because you posted it. And I think that's the acceptance is to stop blaming other people and maybe blame your past self, you know what I mean? Be like, that was a really shitty, ignorant person and give yourself the leniency to be like, I was raised in a really shitty household. I had shitty parents. I had shitty upbringing. Yada, yada, yada. And that person is not who I want to be. And I will work tirelessly to show people that that is not who I am. That is not what I represent. And that's not who I will be moving forward. My concluding thoughts on this. The whole situation was just really immature. It was too people being really immature and petty towards each other. And although I, you know, you can't really... I don't think Emma can look at Cardi and be like, no, you're the immature one. And Cardi's like, no, you're the immature one. It's like, you're both being immature. You know, celebrities are real people too. And if you're gonna make constant shitty comments about them and they respond to it and you get mad at them for responding to it, why, like stop making videos about them then. Like, it just makes no sense to me. You're pitting women against each other. Uh, you're shitting on one black woman after coming back from a racism scandal. And then you're getting mad at that black woman for calling you out for shitting on her. Make it make sense. It just doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, so that's my two cents on the matter. I think the whole situation could have been handled a lot better. I just think we need to, when people make singular mistakes and shit like that, I think we're allowed to give them space and room to grow and evolve, even if they're 26, even if they're 30. But when something is done repeatedly and over and over over years, you know what I mean? That's when uh, that behavior can be like cancelable or like, you know, those people need to be held accountable for their actions. One mistake, still hold them accountable, but once they've proved that they've changed as a person, I think it's fair to move on and, and forgive if possible, if you, if you find that in your heart to forgive them. Yeah, I hope that made sense. I don't know if any of this video made sense. Yeah, that was kind of my two cents on the matter. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below because you know I appreciate that so much. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.